<laughs> I'm just saying, the comic book is better than the movie. <laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Johnny. I am Elliot. And we are the Super Gamer Brothers, and welcome to our epic Let's Play of Brave Fencer Musashiden <laughs> for the PlayStation. One of my favorite games in the system. And one of the best games ever made. Let's do it! I wouldn't go that far, but it's certainly one of my favorite games on the system, as I said 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> or one of your favorite Square games. Yes. Yeah, yeah, actually I would say that. Besides Final Fantasy, which I think is the only franchise that matters when it comes to Square Enix. God, but anyway. Square Enix is gonna, it's gonna be so awesome. Uh, I remember the first time I was introduced to this game. Oh, you All you can eat, can eat palace. palace. Yeah, yeah and get, get, uh, prepare yourself for that, ladies and gentlemen. Just about every single thing in the, that involves this kingdom involves food in somewhat. No kidding. Like, no joke whatsoever. No. <laughs> Must get down fast. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is they in red? They as in the enemy. They were waiting for the king's oh, look, the butler's name is Livers. Like, and Filet. So Does this mean? It is eminently necessary. I don't get that one, Lean Man. I don't get that one. Summon. Lean, mean, grill fighting? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh, we can find Shanky. Him, the lovely and handsome <laughs> he got that name from prison. <laughs> Princess, please resume your assignment. Here goes nothing. The crystal is lighting up. And it exploded. <laughs> then they all died. <laughs> Once there was an ugly particle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. He's rather small. This will not do. Is it well? It must have been too long. Fuck, he's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> why does it look like? Why does it look like on Liver's picture? It looks like his eye is messed up. He's wearing a monocle. I know, but it looks like his eye is messed up. No, we haven't. Well, then shut the fuck up. <laughs> this is our hero. He's like a he's like a samurai ninja. I don't know what but to put it. Who did you say was puny? And why are you guys wearing such stupid costumes? Don't you know where we are? Take that back, you you little turd. Wow. Please, princess, so little turd. Oh my god. The name's Musashi. Right, so. Musushi. Well, until thou learns to have more mannerism in this, is, you shall be so little turd <laughs> to me. <laughs> Sir Musushi, yes to meet you. Musushi. <laughs> so, uh, this game was initially released uh, at um, 1998, I think. What do you guys want? Is there 90? Yeah, it was 98. And. What's a palanquin? Uh, at, at, at first glance, people were comparing it to the Legend of Zelda, yeah, because it was like, oh, this, this game, this is the one that's gonna beat Ocarina of Time or beat Ocarina of Time to so his game. Is like, and it ended up in the end not doing so. <laughs> but the main reason why everyone bought this game in the first place is because it came packed with the demo to Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, <laughs> Then I could I could safely say though I enjoy Brain Fred to Musashi a fuck ton more than Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the main reason why everyone bought this game in the first place. But because of the demo, because of the demo for Final Fantasy VIII. But honestly, I I, I I found out about this game around 99, 2000. I'm not exactly sure when the I uh, the year I ran into this game the first time. But I do know that one of my cousins lent me the game because he thought it was pretty interesting, and I played it, and I was like, oh my god, I, this game is awesome. I this game is, is the sex for the PlayStation. It's like, I can't put the controller down. You know, like, the, like, the storyline was interesting, the music is freaking fantastic, that's my favorite, it's my favorite part of the game is the music. What about the humor? The, the, yeah, the, the voice acting's pretty good, and there's, there's a lot of things, a lot of the... Uh, elements of this game, they just make it so goddamn charming to me. And this note. That's luminous sheep. We want you to go. Those are rocks on the floor, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you thought they were? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no,
can't kind of help it. This game was the sex for the PlayStation, wasn't it? The sex? Yeah. I know. No, you don't. <laughs> He's not there anymore. She just found out. Well, she has a reaction of slowpoke. <laughs> just the reaction time. And slow, Tatha you. <laughs> Chapter one: The journey begins with a gazelle. What was that? <laughs> no, really, what was that? I'm questioning it. Why do I have to do this? Well, for one but thing, the you're the only one named Musashi, so yeah. So, uh, in terms of gameplay elements, uh, Brave Friends of Musashi is, for a majority of the game, is isometric, 3D uh, action, action adventure, adventure game. What are those? What? Those. The soldiers or the plants? The the sol the, the the soldiers. Oh. Yeah. Get the green orb. You know. So you want to it. attack with your fusion sword, you hit the you know you mash the square button, you jump with the X. You, you know, know move with the like, any like any typical action you adventure game. You move with the D-pad, uh, and b I believe because this game was it, uh, brought up before the dual an uh, dual analog sticks were introduced, you can't move with the analog stick. But enough about that. We're going to show one of the major aspects of Brave Friends of Musashi. Now it's assimilation with the fusion sword. Oh God damn it! I did not want to do that. Oh, oh he's well. gone. You know, uh, enemies will um, a majority of the time enemies will drop money that you can collect to buy stuff at the store. Uh, and sometimes, you know, they'll drop uh, health, which is uh, represented by the hearts. And sometimes they'll... Whoa. Oh, oh, I jumped over that, for fail. fuck's sake. And sometimes they'll drop green orbs, which is... Uh, binge tight energy, I believe. Yeah. Bicho. Or BP, for uh, short. But anyway, let's draw off one of the major aspects of Bear Fits Musashi's simulation with the fusion play. By holding down R1, Musashi will begin charging up his fusion sword, which you can throw with the square button. Once it hits an enemy, you can mash the square Mash the shit out of the square button, and you will absorb that enemy, also taking an ability. In this case, Musashi emulated an ability called Gunshot. You know, I'm trying to think of some. I'm trying to think of a comparison between this and something else. So now we absorb the blue Mook. We get his ability of Gunshot. So by pressing down uh, circle, we can fire uh, energy like a machine gun, which is essential for this part of the game right here. Hey, I know. I'll use Gunshot to hit those logs. So we have to hit the logs with gunshot, and voila! <laughs> you missed like three times. So you. Ooh. Oh! Just as planned. Com combo breaker! <laughs> no, it was, it was a combo, nothing interrupted me. They were gonna make a combo, but you broke it, so yeah. No, Musashi's range with the fusion sword is pretty damn short. You pretty, do have to yeah. get really close to enemies in order to cause them to make a damage. But if you get real close to the enemies, you can uh, uh, throw enemies to add towards uh, you know other Where's obstacles in your path or other enemies, which I just did like a uh, you know like a minute ago. Uh, middle of whatever. I lost track of myself. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a spare warrior in my backpack. <laughs> Are you ready to die, good sir? Um, where am I? <laughs> That's not the attitude I was looking for. Alright, so now we have to destroy all these statues in Spiral Tower to get the place to show itself. Hey, something's under this statue. Really? <laughs> Give it a stop. And by that they mean walk on it. <laughs> must, I'm, I missed. I'm so, gonna get your unless it's not obvious enough, don't stand in one place for too long, otherwise you will get hurt like I just did there. I got you once, I'm gonna get you again. That's right. <laughs> Look at you yet, you little blue fucker. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> Stop trying to act like you're trying to save people. Let me kill you. <laughs> My god, you're small. Who brought you into this world? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Alright. We stepped on all the switches and now Spiral Oh look, it's tower the leaning tower, itself. not leaning. <laughs> then it's not a leaning tower. <laughs> it's, then it's the standing tower. Is that a moon or a meteorite? I think it's a giant moon. Remember the super moon that happened? What, the giant red moon? No, it was a super moon. It was the, literally the moon close to the Earth. It's as close as distance has ever reached. Oh, for God's sakes, I was nowhere near that damn thing. kind of were. 
So now we just have to climb Spiral Tower. In the meantime, we have to. Avoid you know who's throwing these stuff? The spinning wheels, and I, I don't know. It's probably just the tower fucking with us. We have to climb the tower, and honestly, because of the camera angle view that we're given right now, this is a little wonky. It's kind of hard to judge where you're exact, where exactly you're at on a 3D plane, because you can fall off the tower. You won't die, but you'll have to climb the tower over again, and that can get annoying. Though it it, it rarely happens to me, but I'm just letting you know it can happen. Someone turn on the lights. Where is this place? Electricity? You mean oh, I'm sorry. Wait, he said where is this place? Doesn't he mean what is this place? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> Whatever. Did a twelve year old voice? I just in? like how Musashi has such a modern approach to like these mythical elements. It's pretty much what happens if you take someone from today's in real life and put them in a situation such as this. <laughs> Bitch. I don't know why, but they kind of creep me out. What? The soldiers. They creep me out. Well, besides being fat fucks, <laughs> they, they kind of really don't have a face. Yeah, I, it, with darkness, are they wearing helmets? I don't know. Spandex? Are they, are they wearing pants? Or something underneath the shirt? Hey, I know. If that bell drops onto the flame, it'll go out. Ah! Ah! Get my sword! Into the flame you go. Nope. No, damn it. <laughs> you missed. That bat's annoying. It's like a Medusa head. Go away! Like, not. Alright, so another there's another sequence we have to use gunshot for, and that is my phone alarm going off. God damn it. Okay, that was annoying. So anyway, uh, now we have to cause the bell to, to fall onto the... the oh, what? hello. <laughs> So we gotta put gunshot to use again. Aim at the bell, rope, and voila! The bell, the bell dropping is so awesome. I had to do it three times. Yep, it's also causing sun rays to materialize out of thin air. <laughs> again, I, I can't, I can't stress enough how much I love this game soundtrack. In fact, I can say that for a lot of games that I play. He, he I'm such a big video game music buff. He, you look at his iPod. There's video game music everywhere. Whoa, it's so high up here. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> I would have, I would have had, I wouldn't taken advantage of that. Oh, I'm so high. <laughs> All right, now we got to use. Now we got to put a simulation to use again. So what we want to do is we want to absorb a Red Mook's ability. So you know, hold R1, throw square, and max the shit out of it. Booyah! We get stun. Stun. So by standing on this thing, the shield huh? that's protecting Lumina goes away. But if we leave the the switch, the shield goes back up. So what it we need to Lumina do bigger. is use stun to our advantage. As soon as the mook comes here, oh, oh you fail. Know, you know when he feels like it, have him stand on it, stun him, and then you can get to Lumina. No problem. Took you twice, two, three times to get it. So now that the master's Lumina is uh, in our possession, we can continue on with the rest of the game. Well, that was easy. <laughs> That's the end of the game, folks. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I always like this song. This one? Yeah. The one that's not in the soundtrack? Yes. <laughs> Jump. Again? Yo. Yo. <laughs> I never fucked those jumps up. <laughs> so I don't know what happens if you don't make it. <laughs> Look at his face. So you th <laughs> How's it rolling on its own? We're not even on a damn slope yet. It, it's a giant head from it. It's Brave Fencer Musashi. Uh, needless to say, if, you'd, uh, if you don't watch yourself carefully, that stone statue can't catch up. And will kill and you. And will kill you. So... Instantly. Yep. So be careful. You almost got hit there. And try not to let it intimidate you. Intimidate you. Like, even though it is a one-hit kill, if he does let you touch it, I mean... You should, you should be just fine. Because that thing looks like it's <laughs> it's on the verge of crushing you. Especially right here. Because it's so fucking loud. <laughs> well, we made it. No problem. <laughs>